Hey guys, it's Ben here again, and uh, today I'm just going to show you two uh, little projects that you can do yourself uh, to help save you money so you don't have to go out and buy uh, drags, or, well, you'll have to buy drags, but you don't have to buy them completely put together, and uh, drowning wire. Um, first, we'll start out with the drowning wire. <clears throat> this is an eighth inch aircraft cable. It is about the thickest that I use it. Be more, mostly for beaver and coyote. Uh, coyote obviously just being to help guide the critter off the road or wherever I'm trapping. But uh, all you need for this project are two double ferrules or two nuts and a, uh, a swivel is all you need for this project and uh, a hammer. You want to cut, start with your cable Cut it to the whatever length you want. This one's kind of short. Uh, it does a trick though for land is where I use this one. But uh, take one end, put a loop in it, then put your double ferrule and or your nut and smash it down with a hammer. You don't need to go out and buy like a ferrule swagger or anything like that. The hammer works just fine on it. And then on your, at this point is when you want to stick on your swivel just like that. You put it through one side and keep the other side open and that will be the side that you actually put another hook through, put it through, and then shut it down on your trap chain like that. And uh, you go to the other end, do another loop, put a nut or a double ferrule on it, smash it down. It works great. Whenever you're setting it up though, you want to make sure to kind of look at it like you want it to drag easily to the direction you want it to go because you could put it in reverse and it's that all that animal is going to do is sit there and fight it it won't slide the other thing I'm going to show you are, are the drags uh, I like at least five foot of chain behind my drags and I normally have several swivels attached to it to help uh, stop pull out uh, as you can see here, I took it. A, I took this one apart so I could show you guys how I have it, like in uh, little sections, like one foot sections. And all you'll do is, like, you'll take a, a crunch proof swivel, attach it to your drag itself. Go ahead and then put another one on the other side and attach it just like that. And you go, just keep working your way up until you get to five feet. Uh, this one here, I added an inline shock spring. It's not needed, but it's something you can add to it. It helps. But uh, all you want to do is go ahead and uh, put it all together. And I'll show you with this last one. Throw it on like that. Take your uh, S hook and a J hook opener and closer. This is just the cheap one. This isn't the high, like they say you need to spend the $11 on it. I bought this one for five bucks and it's lasted me a long time. Just go ahead and throw it in there. Crunch it down, make sure it's closed, make sure trap can't trap chain can't come out, and it works perfect. Uh, other tools besides this, what you need for this project are I have the 12 inch pair of bolt cutters. They uh, they work great for trap chain and everything like small like that. Uh, they're nice and small. It makes it easy to get into the little places that uh, you need to cut stuff. Um, the other thing you'll need is, of course, a whole bunch of swivels. And like I said, I pretty much separate them in about every foot I put a swivel. You don't need to, but it will help like slow down your chances of getting pull-outs. So uh, that's the video for today, guys. Uh, any questions or comments or anything, just uh, shoot me a message or write me a comment or whatever, and uh, please subscribe. Thanks, guys.